What is Summerlin North? And that's what I'm talking about today. Let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And welcome to my Summerlin series. And in this particular series, I am gonna be going over Summerlin North. Stay tuned, I will be going over Summerlin South and Summerlin West in the near future. But today, we're talking about Summerlin North. And for those of you that don't know, Summerlin is one of the largest master plan communities here in the Las Vegas Valley. And it started in the early 90s and is still going and probably has another 20 more years to complete. It is actually huge. It encompasses 20, over 22,000 acres. It's crazy. So when Summerlin was developed, the original Summerlin is Summerlin North. We have Summerlin North, Summerlin South, and Summerlin West. The zip codes that encompass Summerlin are 89128, 89134, 89135, 89138, 89144, parts of 89145, and parts of 89148. Pretty crazy. I remember when it was just 89134. <laughs> so in this video, I'm gonna go over a timeline as to when each of the villages in Summerlin North were developed. And in Summerlin North, we have the hills, the hills south, Pueblo, the trails, the crossing, the canyons, and the arbors are all part of Summerlin North, which is also part of the Summerlin North Association, and the HOA fee is $50. There are no SIDS in Summerlin North. Those have been paid off a very long time ago. When I started this journey a couple years ago, my goal was to do a video of each of the villages and to go into order as to when each of those villages were developed. So the very first village that took place was the Hills Village. It's the original Summerlin Village and construction commenced in 1990. So first, actually, before they even did the Hills Village, we had the Meadows School, which is a premier private school here in Summerlin off of Scholar and Lake Mead. And that was the first facility in 1988 in Summerlin. And then Summerlin Parkway was completed in 1990. Then the Hills in 1990 as well. The Hills Park opens up in 1990. I think in 1991, the first residents move into the Hills Village. Um, and then the Hills South was developed in 1991. The Tournament Players Club, which is a golf course, was developed in 1992. The Pueblo Village, 1992 as well. The Trails Village, 1993. The Trails Community Center, the Trails Park, the Trails Paseos Park, and the Summerlin Performance Library was all developed in 1993. And then also Loomis Elementary School and Becker Middle School were developed in 1993. Then we go over to the Crossing Village, was developed in 1994, then the Canyons Village in 1995, and then lastly, the Arbors Village in 1996. Summerlin Hospital opens up in 1996, and then Palo Verde High School, John Bonner Elementary School opened up in 1997, and then let's see, the Trails Village Center opens in 1998, then the JW Marriott is developed in 1999. St. Elizabeth Ann Seton Catholic Church was developed in 2000. Sig Roach Middle School was developed in 2000. College of Southern Nevada in 2000. Veterans Memorial Leisure Service Community Center in 2000. And Bob and Sandy Miller High Tech Center was developed in 2003. So that was the timeline from 1990 to 2003, Sumlin North was developed. Pretty crazy. So, you know, there's quite a few amenities in Summerlin North. And again, I've done videos in all the villages with all the parks. So, but this is just a summary of all the amenities that are here in Summerlin North. So you have the Hills Park, then you have the Trails Park and Pool and Community Center. You have the Pueblo Park, you have the Arbor's Tennis and Play Park, 
the Cottonwood Canyon Park, the Crossing Park, Oxford Park, and the Treetop Park. So now all of these parks are within each of the villages. Of course, Summerlin has over 250 parks. However, within each of the main villages, there is a park inside those main villages. Um, Summerlin now is up to 22 villages. And um, so yeah, I, the Stone Bridge is almost complete with their park. Kind of exciting. <laughs> so in the uh, Summerlin North, we have the Trails Community Center and the Community Center also has a pool. And then there's also the Pavilion Center Community Pool, which is right next to Palo Verde and the Veterans Memorial um, Community Center. So those are the two pools that are in Summerlin North. Now, regardless of where you live in Summerlin, as long as you have a Summerlin address, you could utilize any of the facilities in Summerlin, especially the pools and the community centers. Um, that's just important information. Now, Summerlin North, HOA is $50, like I mentioned. It's not bad because I go to other communities and master plan communities and their HOAs are a lot higher. Now, if you do live in a gated community, then those HOAs are going to be, um, you're gonna have two HOAs. You're gonna have the gated community HOA and then Summerlin North HOA. And that's for all of the communities here in the Valley, regardless if it's Summerlin or not. In Summerlin North, you have quite a few high luxury areas especially you have the canyons village which is all gated communities all along the tpc las vegas golf course then you have eagle crest the hills tournament hills um, so you have quite a few very exclusive multi-million dollar communities here in Summerlin north and um, but i think for the most part if you're looking for affordability out of all the villages Summerlin North is a little more affordable than the rest just because it's older. Now, Summerlin North is my favorite out of all the Summerlin villages. Well, I shouldn't say that because I am liking Summerlin West a lot. <laughs> but I really love the Trails Community Center, the Trails Village, where you have an Albertsons, Einstein Bagels, um, oh, gosh, what else? It's Banks. Bath and Body Works, CVS Pharmacy, restaurants, Starbucks, you name it. It's right there. And the trails in the Trails Village are beautiful. Pueblo has awesome trails. Um, so, yeah, I like Summerlin North a lot. I don't care if it's a little older. I like the older communities. And the one good thing about buying in a master plan community like Summerlin is that you know that the community is going to uphold its value and uphold the integrity of the neighborhoods. Unlike some other communities that are not as large as Summerlin, you don't know what they're going to look like in 10 years. After 30 years, the hill still looks great. I lived in the Hills Village. I lived in Pueblo Village. I've lived in both of those villages and I would live there again. That's just me. So the point of this video was just to go over what encompasses Summerlin North. Let me know in the comments how you feel about Summerlin North and if you live there, what you think about living in Summerlin. Um, otherwise, you know what to do, right? Hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment down below, share with a friend, and smash that subscribe button because I like to cover everything and anything about Summerlin. I am your Summerlin expert. If you're thinking about buying or selling in the Summerlin area, you know what to do, right? You can call me. 702-370-5112. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys on the next one.